Hey, what's going on guys? Brandon here with Texas Plinking, and this one's gonna be interesting. What I have in these two bags is, well, currently my favorite pistol I have, and probably the only thing I can possibly rival it uh, from what I hear, anyway. So let's go ahead and crack this open. This is the Staccato XC, appropriately in this Texas-themed bag. Quick shout out to Thorn and Fire, by the way. They sent this bag out to me. I love these bags. They are so, so cool. Look at the Texas stitching in there. So yeah, Thorn and Fire, check them out. They even gave me a discount code. I'll put it up here. Forgot how much it saves you, so I'll put that here as well. Take a close look here. This is the Staccato XC. It is a 2011 through and through. Staccato formerly known as STI. Won't go too far into it just because I've made so many videos with this, that being that it is my favorite gun. And full disclosure, I bought this for the full MSRP, so there's no biasy there. The bias is the fact that they were in Georgetown, Texas. Now they're in Florence, Texas, and that's like not that far from me. So a little bit of hometown bias there. Nonetheless, it became my favorite pistol, not because of any of that, but because of how it shoots. I like 1911s. And so when you jump to a 2011, now we're talking double stack, nine millimeter, more capacity, lower recoil. The XC in particular is compensated. So it really doesn't kick a whole lot. The slide itself feels like a Swiss watch as far as its precision. And I, it sounds like I'm overhyping it. I love an XC, super light trigger, make sure it's empty. Nice little set, brakes, two and a half pound total. Put a red dot on there and it makes you a better shooter. I've said that before and people get really, really pissy, but it's true. Most of this video, just fair warning so you don't waste your time, is gonna be mostly talking about shooting impression. We won't get to all the ins and outs and the details that might be important for some. Mostly gonna be talking about how they shoot. Staccato XC, absolutely love it. Thorn and Fire did this little custom bag for me, so really appreciate that. Uh, otherwise the same bag and in here we have the newly acquired Lago Arms Alien. Look at how crazy low that barrel is Okay, versus something like the staccato. You have the guide rod underneath and the barrel on top It's kind of backwards here in the sense that the barrel is so damn low low recoil Let's just jump right into it This thing just does not kick a whole lot and a lot of it is because that low bore axis And so it just doesn't give me a whole lot of reason to flip the wrist up because it's just so low on top of that, the reciprocating part, the part that comes back and forth, is just this piece of metal here, which is relatively not that much. In fact, I'm gonna let the slide go forward. You can see it just doesn't move all that much. So same thing when it comes back, that's when that recoil and that snap happens. There's just not a whole lot of mass here because the optic kind of sits on, on its own little island. So you can see the optic stays still as this thing reciprocates and shoots. This just threw everything out the window and started from scratch. It's not a browning design tilting barrel. The barrel actually sits still the way you break this thing down. I won't do it. Like I said, I just didn't want to go too far into the details, but it is a whole new thought of what a pistol can be. Very, very innovative, very cool. And in practice from my first range day with it, it is pretty freaking slick. All right, you know what? Enough talking. Why don't we just start shooting? Talk about recoil impulse, talk about overall confidence level with these two guns. The first time I've ever gone back and forth with them. This is gonna be very interesting. Let's start with what I know very well, the Staccato XC with the 115s and uh, see what happens. Go on those four swingers to the right. Well, that's the XC. I already made plenty of content with it. Relatively flat shooting, actually very flat shooting for what it is. Very accurate. I was holding a slightly low. It's been a while since I like confirmed the zero on this. I don't think anything's shifting, but I might want to dial it a little bit better. But otherwise, just the recoil and pulse. Uh, love an XC, love an XC. If it's off, it's off by like two or three inches. So might touch it up a little bit. Well, what I remember with the Lago is it's on the money. I also remember I didn't like the 115s that much, but I loaded it with 115s just to confirm real quick. So let's shoot the uh, Alien. Okay, unfortunately that is just gonna be the way it's gonna be with 115s, so. Let's just stop that at this point. Let me load up some 124s. Damn. Try to be a little too quick there. I knew when I missed that, I pulled it. And it's feeding just fine. It wants heavier ammo. I heard that and now I confirmed it. The recoil impulse is interesting between those two. And I don't know which one I necessarily prefer. The... XC almost seems delayed, like a slower cyclic rate, if that makes sense. If that's a term you can use on a semi-auto pistol, it cycles slower and it seems smooth because of it. Whereas this happens very quickly and it just didn't really move all that much. 
Interesting. I wonder if any slow-mo can show that. We might do some 120 frames a second later on just to kind of show them side by side. So that's shooting them kind of slowly. Off camera, I'm going to dial in the zero on the XC real quickly, and then let's shoot a little quicker and see how they compare. But that's how I'd say it. XC, flat, slow, smooth, quick, and just flat. Interesting. All right. Let's shoot some small targets now that it's re-zeroed. Hell yeah. All right, that's how I remember the XC to be. Almost good. All right, how many do I have in here? Yeah, she's on the money now. By the way, I just got ahead of myself. I was zeroing all kinds of ways. I put the dot right on where the co-witness irons are, and now we're good. Speaking of which, that reminds me. Co-witnessing iron sights with Dawson Precision as well. We'll see why I mentioned that in a little bit. Um, but it's nice to have. I like it. Let's go ahead and try to shoot a little bit quicker on the big silhouette to the left here. Uh, okay, I can only do a couple there. Only had five rounds total. Let's get that alien back out here with the alien with the fresh mag. And uh, to rack it, kind of interesting. It's got good serrations, but you don't grab the optic. Kind of awkward, but it works. No co witnessing irons. The red dot is way back here, doesn't move. No iron sights. If you want an alien with iron sights, you get that in the full kit, but you pop this entire top off and put a new top on. Kind of interesting. And it happens with one pin, so it's actually very easy to do. Also, since we're comparing, no grip safety, no safety in general, other than the two trigger type safety. I'm sure there's some internal safeties, but that's above what my mental capacity can handle. Let's shoot this thing. Man, that's weird. Yeah, they're both cool. Yeah, okay. I don't know which one I like better. I might be better with this gun though. Shoot, I might have to say. Damn, okay. All right, let's do one slow and then I'll try to speed it up here. No lock back there, I don't know why. But uh, they were all hits and I thought I sped that up pretty decently. All right, put five in here. Once again, kind of start slow and I'll try to speed it up here. Okay, so there's four quick ones. I will say, I think if I'm going to shoot fast, I prefer the XC. That's what I'm noticing. I like the trigger just a little bit more. However, the trigger in that Alien's pretty damn good. It's easier to be fast with this so far, but maybe that's just because I know it a little bit better. But when I'm slowly taking my time with each shot, that Alien just puts it on the money every single time. See what my dad thinks about him. All right, first shot. So we're going to start off with the Alien. He's never shot this before. Nice. That's pretty damn good. All right, so just going off the recoil, though, what do you think about them? No, the, the recoil, you definitely feel it lift. However, I just like the way it falls back down. The XC. Yeah, that's a good way to put it. I like the trigger, too. Yeah, all right. So Any I preference? See, this one right here. Oh, all right. I like the way my dad put it. The XC does lift, but by the time it cycles, it lands itself right back on. So it's interesting. Um, once we break it down to the slow motion, I'm probably gonna see that to be true. The XC takes longer to cycle and to over dramatize it, it probably looks more like this and just lands back on. So you're ready to shoot on the same target right away. Whereas this just kind of has this little jolt and just stays there. It's very, very interesting. Which one's better in that case? Hard to say. They're both very, very impressive in their own different ways. Totally different operating systems. Um, the XC, I have shot to the point to where I shot it so fast, it does get pretty hot at the moment, shooting about the same amount of rounds, if not probably less with the Alien because it holds less. The Alien's quite a bit warmer. I've heard that to be the case. I heard if you shoot them both extensively, the Alien will get more hot and sooner. So something to note, but at that point, I'm just regurgitating what I've heard. So I'd rather experience it firsthand. Firsthand, they're both incredibly impressive. Uh, I like them a lot. This is my favorite gun. Now that I'm shooting this, I don't know if it dethrones it, but it's fun to go back and forth with them. That's all I can say. Here's my favorite and second favorite guns. In what order, I still don't know, but these are the top dogs for sure, for me, in my collection. So I haven't experienced everything. So let me know. 
comment down below whether you shot them or not which one do you like better they have their merits and there's a bee on my leg all right so we're gonna close this video out thanks for watching see you guys next time